unit 3 we are going to see some questions of exercise 8.1 in which there are some questions of ratio and proportion the first question is find the value of x here one proportion has been given to us in which one of the number is missing and that is x and we have to find out the value of x if these four numbers are in proportion then we can write product of extremes that means the numbers which are in the corners they are the extremes and the numbers which are here in the middle are the means so product of extremes equals to product of means so x into 84 equals to 25 into 78 which gives us x equals to 25 into 78 upon 84 by solving it we are getting x equals to 325 upon 14 which gives us 23.21 now the next question for this question is 4 is to x proportionate to 12 is to 48 again the same formula we are applying product of extremes equals to product of means so 4 into 48 equals to x into 12 which gives us 12x equals to 4 into 48 or x equals to 4 into 48 upon 12 which gives the value of x as 16 the next is a word problem money's car travels 150 kilometers in 4 hours at this rate how far will the car travel in 6 hours we can solve this question by unitary method also and by the method of proportion also let the car travels x kilometers in 6 hours then by arranging the given quantities in proportion 150 kilometers is to x kilometer now for 150 kilometers he takes 4 hours and for x kilometers he takes 6 hours so which gives us 150 is to x proportionate to 4 is to 6 product of extremes 150 into 6 equals to product of means that means 4 into x which gives us x equals to 150 into 6 whole upon 4 which gives the value of x as 225 kilometers the next question is the boys and girls in a college are in the ratio of 7 is to 8 if the number of girls is 256 what is the total strength of the college let the number of boys be x then by arranging the given quantities in proportion 7 is to 8 here it is given as boys and girls so let us take the number of boys as x so we are going to write it x here and is to 256 which is the number of girls in the college so 7 into 256 will be equal to 8 into x which gives x equals to 7 into 256 upon 8 by solving it we are getting x equal to 224 that means the total strength of the college equals to number of girls plus number of boys equals to 256 which is the number of girls plus 224 which is the number of boys the sum will be equal to 480 that is the total strength of the college now we have to find out the given ratios are equivalent or not so first we are solving the given ratio 5 to 6 by writing it in the form of a fraction and the simplest form of this ratio is 5 upon 6 only the second ratio is 20 is to 25 which can be written as 20 upon 25 and the simplest form of this fraction will be 4 is to 5 since these two simplest form of the two given ratios are not the same the given ratios are not equivalent another example 2 is to 4 and 15 is to 30 2 is to 4 can be written as 2 upon 4 which gives us the simplest form as 1 upon 2 and 15 is to 30 can be written as 15 upon 30 equals to 1 upon 2 since the simplest form of the given ratios are the same, the given ratios are equivalent. 